Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. And today, as I told you at the start of the year, year 2022 is the 50 year, the Q50 year, guys. Hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. Welcome back, welcome back everybody back to the channel. First thing, number one, shout out to all my Boost in Motion family that continues to support and show love to the Boost in Motion channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new to the Boost in Motion channel, watch this video and watch some older videos, some other content. If you like this channel, subscribe and hit the bell notification. But anyway guys, let's go, let's jump into it. What do I wanna talk about with y'all? Listen, as I said at the start of the year, this is gonna be year the 50. And was I, was I lying guys, what was I lying? Listen, this is going to be more of a vlog, just me telling you how it is, how it is straight up. You guys know that I left the VR30 community a little earlier this year. I sold my Infinity Q60, and I modded a Q50, fully tuned 93, and a Q60 E30 map, right? But I still cover the, a lot of um, the, Q, the VR30, Q50, and VQ uh, content. And what I got to say is I'm nothing but proud of you guys. Because I remember when a lot, I used to get a lot of heat saying, Boos, you need to go out there race and put the name in the streets, name on the track. And honestly, I don't have the type of resources or the time to do so. So I found out that even you guys have taken, that, taken upon yourselves to go out there and make a name for yourselves and or for the Q50 community. So much love. I appreciate all the heavy hitters. I'm talking about the people who are going for the high horsepower of boosting. Um, we got Daily Q50 and amongst a lot of other people with 700, pretty much 700 plus wheel horsepower Q50s. Shout out to all my street races. Y'all guys are doing the thing. Um, shout out to Cozy. Shout out to Silver Bullet and, and Swag on, on Wheels. There's so much of you guys all over the all over the nation that I'm putting the name, names in the street. So once again, be careful of all of that. I don't want nothing to happen to y'all. And shout out to all the companies. The newer companies that jump in and start making quality parts. Shout out to Bonnie and Cloud, one of the newest heavy hitters jumping in there. These guys, for them and Elite Performance, jumping in and going air to air on a VR30. Who would have ever known 22, yeah, 2022 would have been the year of the air to air swap. We've seen that this is a good increase of 30 to 40 wheel horsepower just going air to air. So there's so much more options in the VR30 community that's continue to grow. Also shout out to my VQ community too. A lot of people that are in the VQ community from the 370s to the G37s and even Q50s, you guys are now starting to build your cars with some serious power. And with so much of the interchangeability with the platform such as you can go, the, everyone knows the automatic on the Q50 doesn't handle that much torque, but you can get the 2016 and up transmission, which handles a lot more torque rather than go get like a pure or level 10 or even a valve body build. Who would have ever known that these would have been the things that would, would, would have really started being used and implemented in the community um, in 2022? Nonetheless, there's so much more going on in the VR30 community that I'm happy that it's continuing to grow. And it kind of sucks because the Q50, Q60 community laid the path for the Nissan Z. So whatever the Nissan Z comes out with now, people are gonna be like, oh my God, this is so like crazy, this car makes its power. No, Q50's been doing this since 2017. Shout out to AMS Performance. These companies have been putting in the name and this brand uh, uh, for the last five years. And knowing that this community continues to grow, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna say it on video, because I'm across different spectrums from online, social media, or even in the streets. Q50s have built their name, period. Don't let no one tell you otherwise. M cars, AMG cars, RS cars, don't matter. Q50s have their place now in the community. Are they out here killing everything in the streets? No but they are now one of the performance cars that you can choose to build if you want to gain power. If you want a real wheel drive sedan, you get that. If you want an all wheel drive sedan, get that. If you want a coupe or real wheel drive, once again, there's so much options for these people if they want to jump into the Infinity community. And I'm happy to once again be a part of that growth and help so much of you guys along your builds. 
Uh, shout out to Bonnie and Clyde. Um, shout out to Boosting VR Kings. Shout out to Racebox. Shout out to all these companies that I've personally spoken to. And it's so crazy that even with me making the videos I made so, so long ago, who would have known that a lot of you guys would have become heavy hitters in the community just by coming across a <laughs> random dude from Brooklyn with a blue Q50, you know? And nonetheless, look what you guys have built. So I'm super thankful on creating a buzz. I'm super thankful for giving informative information, even though I might be the super calm blondie of, um, shout out to Justin Warden, uh, uh, super calm blondie of the community. But I'm so happy that you guys just went out there, y'all took my words, just said, boost, we, I'm gonna build a fast car. And you guys did it. And even finally, this is also to my guys who keep it simple and clean. Shout out to all the Q50Q60s, Infinity guys, who just kept it low and slow. Bags, wheels, got the car, Miss Q50S, like, all of these cars are just sex and they're just keeping it simple. Simple and clean. We are showing the community that you're not a Supra, that you only could go straight. You can go straight in a straight line with a rocket bunny kid. No, we are building cars that are sexy, bagged cars, show cars. We are building race cars. And we even have people who drift these cars. It, it, nonetheless, we, in the sideshow communities, who you see the most? Dodges and Infinities. Mind you, Infinities don't have a proper differential, and these guys are sliding these cars. So once again, we are showing that we're in every single sector of motorsports, no matter if it's in the street or the track, we have done it. We have made a name for ourselves, and now with the Nissan Z coming into the platform, we're gonna continue to grow. So shout out to all my Q50, Q60 family. Much love, I appreciate y'all. Continue to have a blessed year. Continue hitting those like buttons on my videos, guys. Thank you, I appreciate you guys so much. You guys have a good day.